so essentially we enable the mavericks, the pioneers, the guys who are going out there and, and disrupting industries. Let's, let's be honest, this is the most disruption that the uh, tobacco industry has seen in its lifetime. What happened was those pioneers, those guys, those entrepreneurs, they immediately try and sidestep regulation. Whether it, when the TPD, the tobacco products came in, everyone said, well, what we'll do then is take nicotine out of that product and we'll sell what's called a short sale, which is just the, the carrier agent, PG, propylene glycol and uh, glycerin. And the, and the flavorings, and then you can just go and buy a nick shop and your neck team in, we'll sidestep it. Slowly those doors are shut. Those guys, if we had one guy who sold his vape factory in China and bought a sex toy factory and said, can you help us on sex toys? And we opened that book and we started delving into that. It's twice the size of the vape industry, but we're pretty much exactly the same baseline regulations. Now it's currently an unregulated in terms of weeks. That will change in time and that will become regulated. Same with cannabis, we had clients pivot into cannabis. They're doing CBD in Europe. They're doing recreation cannabis in the States. They want help because they trust us. We had clients that are making their vape device, a medical device so that it can be prescribed on the other chance by doctors. So we, we were thrown through the quality of our service. We've been exposed to all these pivots that our clients have taken based on the fact that we've provided them with a really good service and they, can, they, and they trust us. So it's very much, if, if I had to answer that question, what do we do for our clients? We enable the Mavericks. We enable those guys who are going out there and disrupting established industries. And that's really where we see our growth now is through looking at where the next disruptive industry is and enabling those guys to go out and make as much, not mess, but create as many ways as they possibly can, knowing that we've got their back from a compliance perspective. Yeah. It's interesting. Because I speak to a lot of business owners who have very exciting businesses, tech businesses, startups, AI businesses. I speak to lots and lots of different business owners and they work in very exciting, very sexy industries. And, and I can see very easily how they can start to market themselves as being something very different in that space. And yet here you are, Lee, in, in what, is, what is traditionally seen as a, quite a dry environment quite a dry industry yeah you said it you said it at the beginning normally sets out yeah. one day to go oh you need to be in compliance because what an exciting industry you don't but yeah. here you are doing incredibly well for yourself by differentiating what you guys do from your competition by admittedly really good customer service who'd have thought right who'd have thought putting your customer at the center of your business would drive yeah. such great loyalty from your customers and, and word of mouth Yeah, as well, when you look at, when you talk about an SME business, SME clients working in disruptive industries, they're normally coming, don't get me wrong, a lot of these companies are making tens of millions a year. Some of the guys, they're not, they're mum and pop operations and they need, and with the vape industry, quite passionate about it now, it is a whole reduction industry. It's coming under a lot of scrutiny, unfair scrutiny you know, at the moment, but it's harm reduction there. And I think these guys are doing good. And the more diverse that you can keep that industry and the more you can enable the smaller guys, we're taking a pound out of the pocket of, the, of, of big tobacco, big pharma and all of that. And if we can continue to do that, I think we're doing something wrong. Right. I think we're, we're adding to the consumer experience by making sure that these smaller companies can compete and put a safe product to market. They're not, let them do their thing. Let them be marketeers. Let them be gregarious salespeople, knowing that their back is covered through where we built a lot of um, proprietary software tools as well to ensure that we can scale up on the, the compliance side of things and have a lot of it automated. So it allows us to, they can essentially have a, a compliance department that helps us. So we're very integrated in, in with our clients. So we know what their goal is, we know what their mission is. We can tap into all of these tools to make sure that they can push forward.